Microsoft Power Toys continues to update their suite of utilities, and the recent one includes a really useful tool that you can use in a Microsoft Teams or in a Zoom meeting. When I'm in a virtual meeting, I occasionally need to step away, whether to grab a glass of water, answer an urgent call, or to use the bathroom. In these cases, I turn off my video, mute my audio, then send a message in the chat that I'd be right back. Well, I just found a more elegant way to do this with a utility from Microsoft Power Toys. Power Toys has a new tool called Video Conference Mute. It allows you to quickly mute your audio, turn off your video, or both with keyboard shortcuts. Now you might be thinking that Microsoft Teams and Zoom already have their own keyboard shortcuts to do this, and you're right. However, you'd have to have your application window active in order for the shortcuts to work. So that means if you had been taking meeting notes in OneNote, for example, you'd have to select your meeting application to make it active, then use their shortcut. With Power Toys Video Conference Mute, the shortcut will work regardless of what application is active on your computer. But this is just a half of it. Power Toys Video Conference Mute gives you the option to select an image to display when your video is off. So normally, whether you're in a Teams or a Zoom meeting, when you turn off your camera, other meeting participants will either see your profile picture or your initials. But with Power Toys, you can choose what image is displayed. So I find it helpful to replace my picture with a message like, be right back. This way, I don't have to disrupt the meeting to announce that I'm stepping away. And the cool thing is, this could all be set up in advance and be triggered with a single shortcut key. The keystrokes will mute the audio, turn off the video, and display the custom overlay all at once, again, no matter which application is in focus. Let me walk you through how you can set this up. First, make sure you have the latest version of Power Toys installed. If you don't yet have it installed, you can head over to the Power Toys page on GitHub. I'll throw the link in the description below. If you already have Power Toys installed, you can simply launch the app and check for updates from the General tab. In order to change some of the key settings in the Video Conference Mute tool, you will need to run Power Toys as an administrator. If this button is enabled, you can click to restart as an admin. If this button is not enabled, you can close out of Power Toys, search for the app in your Windows search bar, right-click on the app, then choose Run as Administrator. Click Yes to give permission on the user access control. And now let's select Video Conference Mute and make sure it's enabled. Here are the default shortcuts to activate the mute for the audio and the video but you can customize them by hitting the pencil icons. Next, select the microphone you'll be using in your Teams or Zoom meeting, then choose the camera you'll be using. This is where you can choose your camera overlay image. This is the image that will display when you turn off your video. I'm gonna select this image here, which I created using Canva. Note this message here. To use this utility, you must select Power Toys Video Conference Mute as your camera source in your Microsoft Teams or Zoom device settings. This basically works as a virtual camera. I'll show you how to do this in a minute. The last section here allows us to choose a toolbar position where the mute status will show. I just leave the default settings, but you can change it if you like. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set this up in Microsoft Teams, but it works pretty much the same in Zoom. Let's launch Microsoft Teams and from the settings menu, select devices. Make sure the audio device you have selected here matches the one you selected in Power Toys. If not, make the correct selection. Scroll down to the camera section and choose Power Toys Video Conference Mute. If this option doesn't appear at first, you may need to restart your computer. Let's start a meeting and see how this works. Before you join, make sure you disable any background. The custom image overlay won't work if you have a background enabled. If you need to disable your background, click on background filters and click on this first thumbnail for no background. Let's X out of this and start the meeting. Now, just to demonstrate this, I'm gonna call myself another account so that we have at least one other meeting participant. Now, if I want to step away for a minute, I can use the shortcut Windows, Shift, and Q. 
This will not only mute my audio and video, but my video feed will be overlaid by the image we chose earlier. Don't worry if the text image appears backwards. The meeting participants will see it correctly, but if this bothers you, you can always turn off mirror my view from the device settings. Again, this setting has absolutely no impact on how others see your video, it's just for your own view. Now when you're back at your desk, you can use the same shortcut window shift Q and the video and audio are turned on again. Again, I think this is a lot better way to excuse yourself without disrupting the meeting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you're interested in other Power Toys tips, check out these videos next. Thanks. Mm -hmm.